In this lesson, we will learn how to add a gusset between structural members. I want to add gusset at this corner. To add gusset, I have to use gusset tool. Go inside well mains tab, activate gusset tool. First, I have to select two face from two structural member. Select these two face because I want to add gusset between these two face. And you can see it is showing me some preview. Then inside this profile, there are two different type of gusset you can add. One is called triangular profile and another is polygonal profile. Let's go with triangular type. For this triangular type, there are two dimensions are showing D1, D2, which is this height, D1 and this height is D2. So zoom in here. For D1, I will put 50, which is this D1 and this is D2, which is 75. If you want to add this D2, this side, not this side, in that case, you have to reverse this. You can reverse this by using this button. Then there is another option. You have to activate it, this chamfer. If you want to add chamfer at this corner, in that case, you have to activate it first. So activate it. And here you can see this is the chamfer and you can control that chamfer dimension by using D5 and D6 dimension. I don't want to add any chamfer. So again, I will select it. This is just a toggle button. Next, I have to add thickness. Right now, this thickness is 5 millimeter. I will go with 10 millimeter. Then you can add thickness on both side or left side or right side. If I add thickness inner side, it will add this side, only this side it will add 10 millimeter thickness or to right side 10 millimeter thickness or if I put both it will just split into two part 5 millimeter to right and 5 millimeter to left. Then go to bottom. This location at this moment this is center which is profile locates at midpoint which is midpoint between these two line. If I want to put at left I have to select it or right I have to select this. I want to go with midpoint so select this center as well as this thickness both side. Now, if you want, you can also put some offset, select it. In that case, whatever distance you want, you can put some custom distance. This gusset does not fit with this offset distance. That's why it's not showing me any preview here. So I have to reduce this, change this to 10. And now you can see it. Let's make it 7. If you want, you can reverse it. Then press OK. To modify this gusset, select it. Go to edit feature again. This time I want to use this polygonal type, not triangle type. Select it. And I have to define all of this information. I don't want to go with offset. I just want to go with the center. It's not showing me any value because I have to change some value here. This will not fit here. That's the reason. Change this to 50 and here is the result. Also, if you want, you can add some internal chamfer here by activating this option, which I don't want. All other options are exactly same. So press OK. And this is my gasset. I added gusset between these two flat face. If you want to add gusset between this flat face and this circular face, you can also do that. Activate this gusset tool again. Select this flat face, then this circular, but it's not showing me anything. Go to bottom. I have to specify a direction. So select this direction and this is the result. I will go with this triangular type and 75 by 75. All other options are exactly same. Now press OK. Even if you want, you can add gusset between these two circular face. Select these two circular face and this is the result. All other options are exactly same. 